Hi! Today I thought it would be interesting to try and make a perfect colour skin tone match using only the five primary colours. We have yellow, red, blue, white and black. So if you know your colour theory, in theory you can curate any colour you can think of using these five colours. And back in the day when alcohol palettes were first around with real creations, this is what they had to do. They didn't have specific skin tones. So I thought it would be kind of cool to try that out. So initially I'm going to try and make a base tone that's going to match my skin. And then I'm going to apply a prosthetic and try and color match it with all of the freckles and highlights and lowlights and all of that. So I'll zoom in quickly now and show you. So where it gets hard, why it gets tricky is there's so many different skin tones going on. So I've got kind of like bluey green veins. I've kind of like kind of warmish, olive-ish, olive-ish, olive-ish highlights. And then um, I have kind of pinky purples. Uh, I'm kind of pale. Um, it's it's confusing. There's a lot of different colors. So you can kind of put one color down and be like, but I see more blue here, but I see more yellow here. I see more, more purple here, whatever it is. So it's kind of why you need just a... Uh, selection of different tones going on to make it match. So I'm going to create that base tone first and then when we apply it I'll do all the different other colors that are going on in the skin as well. So initially what I'm going to do is just create like a palette of colors here by mixing these first ready to go. I just feel like it makes it a little bit easier. I'm going to mix up a little bit of blue in this corner here. Which let's make it, let's make it green. Let's mix my blue and my yellow We'll make it green in this top corner here. And then I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do a pure blue next to it. And next to that, let's do a purple. Mixing my blue and my red. Put some pure red next to it. Let's do an orange here. First of all, you're going to want to put white down in your base for any skin tone because the white's going to add the opacity. These are all quite translucent or a skin is quite opaque, so you're going to need to add white for an opacity no matter how dark you're eventually going to make the skin tone. And then you get to pick whether you're going to have a cool tone base or a warm tone base. Generally, skin tones fall into warm tone or cool tone. Warm tone usually has a yellow base and cool tone usually has a red base. I know that I'm cool toned, so I'm going to mix uh, my white in with my red. So let's just get down, let's pack in the white quickly here first. Okay, now I'm going to add in some of this red. Cool. So uh, if I were to swatch this on my arm right now, it's going to be too light and too pink. So I'm going to add in other pigments which will eventually darken it and will also make it more adjusted to my individual skin tones. So let's start by adding a little bit of green. And a lot of this, a lot of learning this, like it is quite hard to see the colours at first. Like I was pretty hopeless when I started. Still not the best at knowing what colour I need to add immediately. A lot of this is really just practicing until your eyes learn to see all the different individual colours and with enough practice you'll start knowing what to add but at first it is really just like a guessing game. So you can kind of play like this, add little bits, put it up against your skin and see how does that look. So right now for this, obviously it's still too light and um, I wanna add a little bit more blue and purple to this at the moment. So I'm gonna put a little bit more alcohol onto my blue and my purple. So blue can be quite overpowering, so just be careful to try and add diluted blues. This is looking, <laughs> it's kind of looking like an undead sickly color, but I feel like that, <laughs> that's my skin tone. Got this kind of like gray undead cheek going on. So if I were to put this here now. Ooh, so it's kind of getting closer. Slowly getting closer, but it's still, uh, it's still too light. And also I need a little bit more, a little bit more yellow now. Okay, I'm gonna add more red as well. That is getting closer, definitely. So our current uh, iteration of skin tone color. I might, oh, what am I gonna add to that? I'm gonna get a little bit darker, so I'm gonna keep adding some of the primary colors just to kind of slowly darken the, I prefer to add the primary colors than to add the pure black, just cause it gives it more of a, it just gives it more of a richness of color. Let's see how this adds 
sitting. Not too bad. Okay. This is our last color here. So it pretty much blends into the skin. I think that's when I win a chicken dinner right there. Like that was a bit of a fluke at the end there. So I'm going to apply this cool evulsion wound and yes I know what it looks like please for the love of god don't comment it a hundred times. I just think it's a cool wound okay right cool. So I'm just going to apply this quickly and then we'll get on with the color matching. This is pretty damn close to my skin tone already. <laughs> Probably should have picked one well, that didn't match as well. Let's try using the color that I made anyway, seeing what it does. So I'm gonna get a medium stipple brush. Let's just get this color, stipple it all the way around. Sometimes it helps just to bring that color out into the rest of the arm so that it all kind of, all kind of matches. See there's this shiny ring where the edge of the prosthetic is still kind of catches the light differently from skin, so I will have to put some more mattifying stuff on there soon. It's close, but it's kind of flat, it's kind of um, monochromatic. You can see like there's heaps of different colors and stuff going here, and then it gets kind of flat around here where the prosthetic is. I'm gonna grab this purple here, but I wanna add in a little bit of white, just to make it slightly paler. Go in with this brush instead. Just really flare it out. Try and add that kind of spots of color. So I'm also going to get some just plain alcohol here. And just kind of use that to break it, break it all down a little bit more. Okay, so it's looking <laughs> maybe too red now. So if you put a little bit too much down, I would just get a clean brush. I like using the uh, watercolor brush. And you can just kind of come in and disperse the color a bit. Or another option is you get a tissue and you lay it over where you think you've put down too much color. Then using the brush, you can put that onto the tissue and the tissue will absorb some of that top layer of color there. So I've still got this kind of interesting halo around it. If you can see that. So I might try and add some of this uh, light, kind of yellowy highlights. So we're gonna mix in a pastel yellow. Yellow and the white. So one thing that is difficult with this is if you wanna mix up like big quantities of color for spattering, it is harder trying to mesh your brush in like this and, and pick up as much color as possible. Is my color there. I'm gonna get my chip brush. I'm gonna actually dilute this a bit more with some alcohol. Get my chip brush in there. Some more alcohol, some more chip brush. And then I'm going to spatter that across the surface. The more alcohol you have in there, the bigger the droplets will be, and you kind of want bigger droplets for this, so it's more like noticeable. Bring that down the center here as well. So the wrist area here tends to be quite pale. I'm just going to kind of bring the paleness down from there. If you're working from a camera, always check back into the camera lens to see how it's sitting and looking. So you can see I've got like a kind of a light aura going on. So it might be just the shine, so I can put some mattifying stuff and check that, but it does look like there is kind of a, a lack of the pigments that I want here. So I'm going to go in and add an anti-shine cream. Might just do like a little kind of cool tone blue spatter around the outside quickly first. So sometimes you add stuff and you think it's going to fix it and it doesn't, and other times you do something and you're like, maybe I'll try this and it miraculously works. Like until you get enough practice, it is kind of like guessing and seeing seeing what improves it in, in a way. 
I'm using the brush that had that light pastel yellow color and I'm mixing that into this blue because it kind of offsets uh, the craziness of the dark blue and makes it a bit more skin tone like. It's probably a bit too much blue so I'm just gonna pat it off a little bit. I guess it's all the degree to which you want it to match depends on if you are doing super close up so how far away it is because sometimes like this would be fine uh background you want to stop ages ago um but if you're doing extreme close up is when you want to get it really good and spend a lot of time on it i'm gonna put the flesh tones in the center now so using this we're gonna make our little flesh tones i'm gonna start with a pink to make this pink a bit more like mossy i'm going to add in a little bit cool, let's add a little blue. I'm gonna add some of this purple as well. Maybe a little bit of yellow. Let's try a little bit of green just to see what happens. Just gonna place that in the center, kind of transparently. I'm going to extend out this evolution and just kind of drag this pink colour out here. So let's get a darker red happening and maybe some dark purples for the centre. Get some pure red. Oh, actually I'm going to add a little bit of blue to this. A little bit of yellow. I'm just kind of drag it along the edges so that it looks like right where their skin is broken, there's the little blood vessels leading out. I want it to be like an obviously drawn on line, so I'm just kind of patting it as I go along. this in the deepest parts of the wound. You, kind of don't, you don't want to put like this red everywhere, you want it to be some reds, some pinks, some fatty colours. That way you get this kind of, it makes it look more 3D and gives it more dimension than if you were to just coat everything in red. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of like a fatty colour up in here. Let's try to add some fatty colour. I don't want it to look too opaque on top, so I'm just going to kind of pat it in. Okay, so that's kind of sitting a bit weirdly, so I'm going to get back in with some of the pink. And just try to uh, break that down more into the, the centre of the wound. Let's get a darker, deeper, kind of browny, purpley colour just for the very centre of this. Oop, my filming stopped, so I've got some black, blue, and some red mixed up here. I'm gonna drop that right down the centre to add that depth. So, uh, I'm gonna get that blood red brush, just reactivate the colour on there. that over the top. Yeah, I'll we'll make that a bit more diluted so I can just kind of run it naturally into these other areas. So to finish this off, to make this look like the inside is different from the outside, I'm going to put a little bit of KY Jelly Gloss like right in the center. So you can still see now that's all filled in like a little bit. I think maybe I need a little bit of, I'm gonna add a little bit of purpley red there again. Maybe I can use what I've mixed up here to really thinned out. It's still quite shiny. Add some more mattifying sealer on top. 
It's slightly, slightly too much pink. So I'm just gonna dab at that with a tissue that has a little bit of a proper alcohol. Just to softly remove some of the colors. Sun is setting, so I'll just up the brightness a little bit. This is our finished color matching wound using just primary colors, so from far away, I think that's possible. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, hopefully this was interesting. It was fun for me. I've never tried to make skin tones out of the primary colors before, so it's kind of like a fun little color experiment. Uh, I had fun. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, uh, ask me down below. I'll keep filming my color matching tutorials for other skin tones so I can have a whole compilation of different skin tones in the video soon. And uh, yeah, I'll be back soon with my next video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!